All I'm really wishing for is just for a good hot dog in Huntington. It's gonna be harder than it looks. There's no minor league baseball! Yeah, but there's still water in the grass. It's closed! I can't find myself a hot dog, so what are we gonna do about it? Easy. So I team up with my friend Joel of Taste West Virginia. We're gonna travel all over the state of West Virginia and find you the best hot dog in the state. Let's go. We judging the hot dogs well we're not talking about hot dogs on the little wheelie thing we're talking about real hot dogs from your favorite mom and pop shop judging is based on three categories taste presentation and cleanliness of the restaurant each one gets a best out of five score three being average and five being over the top for taste if you have the average slaw the average dog the average everything else you're gonna get a three on presentation are the ingredients skimpy is the bun soggy or is it dripping with grease and of course, cleanliness of the restaurant. So remember folks, it's COVID-19, so cleanliness and safety is a major concern. If it's dirty, chances are your kitchen's probably dirty too. And really, do you want to eat a hot dog that comes from a dirty kitchen? The highest score you can get is a 15, and if you get that, you just might be the best hot dog in West Virginia. And joining us as a guest judge in the Huntington area, we have Allison. Her family had Sunday barbecues in which they would come up with their own unique toppings. So she's definitely no stranger to hot dogs. Chili. Really good. The chili is good. That, that's really what good. I like too, is the chili. Great the chili. With the, the mustard and stuff. Yep. Okay, I'll take one. So, uh, gotta get it with the sauce. The sauce is what it's great. Okay. As you drive down from Charleston, West Virginia to the Huntington Tri-State area, the hot dog chili that we're used to is referred to as sauce. Just a basic chili sauce. Not very meaty, but mainly a pureed version of chili. What is the one ingredient that makes the hot dog the best? The sauce. The term chili has left. No. It's all sauce. Alright. Yeah, not bad. Well, the western part of West Virginia, we call it sauce. Okay. Or else they call it chili.
<laughs> that it's like if you went to a movie theater and asked for a hot dog. She wouldn't be wrong, but the bun is toasted. Not just toasted, it was like toaster oven toasted. So it's not quite the normal toasted that you would have. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. It was toasted. Anyway, here it is, Stewart's Hot Dog. Been here since 1932. Great place, yes? Yes. <laughs> she says yes, it's a great place. Let's see if the hot dog's any good. It's all buried underneath, folks. <laughs> Zoom into the hot dog, do it. Just for crying out loud. Damn zooms. Is it weird to say that every hot dog in Huntington basically tastes the same? Are they using the same sauce? I think this is how it's placed. Yeah. I'm mean, being underneath. You're, it's, like, it's like eating a hamburger upside down. You know? Alright. But it's very similar to like past few that we've had. Yeah. of a hot dog is always a big plus here as well so great job here hillbilly how do you judge the cleanliness of this place i looked at the entryway the entrance they're all wearing face masks and a lot of sanitizer visible in the area so obviously they're practicing you know in this covid19 type era they're practicing what needs to be clean around here so thumbs up on that too this place is supposed to look dirty because it's a hillbilly place and you know it, it does it does look dirty but it's not we've been to places with tables dirtier than this and this is outside so napkins in the back. Sweet. Have this a great song. evening. Oh. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Hopefully we find the perfect dog. Yet to be seen yet. But let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go. Hot dog time. Yeah. Okay. What do you guys think of Highway 55? It's the best. It's the best? Yes. What do you guys like about it? I love the cheeseburgers, the tater tots. Have fun. you ever had the hot dog? The hot dog. The hot dog, yeah. Have you ever glizzy. had a hot dog here? The glizzy. The, what's the glizzy? It's a glizzy. What? Yeah, bad news. Are they closed? Highway 55 has two locations down in the Huntington area. Unfortunately, this is a franchise, and per the rules of the West Virginia Hot Dog Tour, we only support mom and pop local restaurants. Don't tell anyone, she's never had the hot dogs here. Hey, I just started working here a month ago. And she's only worked here a month and still hasn't had a hot dog. Guys, come on, train these employees. This is the 1955 hot dog car. Nice. Look at that, huh? Looks, looks pretty good, doesn't it? Not bad at all. It's a bigger hot dog, too. Mm -hmm. But this tastes more of like a chili than a sauce. Yeah, but I think it's got almost the consistency of a sauce.
sauce homemade, all of the sauces are homemade, all of the meats have been smoked, they make their own rubs. Nice, right, so and the chili meat has also been smoked too, right? Wow. <laughs> Great smoky flavor here guys. Good stuff for sure. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's an old bun. It tastes like the chili just came right out of the can. Not heated. A little bit below average. Sorry to say, but. like the runny kind that I've seen a lot around here. It's a bigger dog. Dad's yeah, in here about three weeks ago from New York. Yeah. My wife asked if they wanted the sauce on their hot dogs. They looked at her like she had three heads. <laughs> okay. They, for them it's chili. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, As our Huntington tour came to an end, our friend Erica told us about two other cool spots. So we checked them out. I do like the shredded slaw better. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of that. Mm -hmm. For being a steam bun, it's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Now that's a hot dog. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah.
You didn't expect me to always eat a hot dog, do you? Anyway, here's the results for the Huntington area. Go ahead, roll.